All right, so here's a little uh, half bridge deal that I remade out of a super old VFD. So it basically had a couple decent caps down in there. And I basically just added a uh, my own brick in there. So it's just a half bridge brick. Yeah, I think that's a 150 amp, 1400 volt brick that I found. And then I've got a three phase uh, rectifier module. So those two caps in there. Um, I've got it wired as a doubler through the uh, full bridge rectifier and then I'm basically driving the brick uh, with just this little guy right here so this is basically just a couple uh, UCC's driving a GDT and I've got if I want to I can run a feedback let's just say I wanted to run something with feedback I could I could use it but right now I've just got it jumpered over to run off this TL494 so I basically set that up as a PWM drive to where I've just trimmed the duty cycle down to 50% and I've set it to uh, run from between like you know, 22 kilohertz up to even a couple hundred kilohertz. But I don't really want to go too high till I add a, some little heat sinks and a fan on the drivers. Right now, I've just sort of wound this bootleg transformer here using this little uh, core that I had. So, I don't know how many turns that is. I just wrapped a bunch of turns uh, with 24 gauge. And then I've just filled up the uh, space I had with that primary right there. This song. And I've actually got the output going through this little uh, bulb right here. So, let's see. You know, drawing a few amps. Let's just say four amps and that's what the bridge waveform looks like so I'm about 27 kilohertz so let's see I've got this to where yeah go down to about 22 I don't want to saturate the core go too low and as you can see I can bring that up of course that's the uh, gate drive power so I'm reaching up to about five watts now total at about 70 kilohertz which is not too bad but again down here I'll get a little bit more power so I can sort of trim the power that way right so right now I'm at about four and a half amps at 22 so let's just say I'll back that up to about let me do about 30 35 you know, I'm only pulling uh, about two and a half amps so I'm already uh, Probably a little too bright on this guy. But yeah, I'm pulling about three and a half amps. Using that little transformer. Of course, I could definitely overdrive it. So I leave it at that. So that's what I'm pulling no load just into the primary. A little under an amp. Just pull a little arc with the uh, light bulb still in the circuit. Not pulling too much yet. Let's see. Bring it up a little bit more. Now I can hear a little bit of a hum in the very end. It's still less than 5 amps. So again, you know, ZVS driver can do this pretty easy. Um, but I'm able to do this at the higher voltage, obviously, less amps. But yeah, that's only about... Uh, 30 VAC. Yeah, I might try to see uh, how big of an arc I can pull off this little guy. Um, of course, I'll need to obviously get some better uh, probes set up or terminals. But uh, yeah, so far that's pretty cool. So what's handy about, uh, you know, like three phase modules and such is, uh, you know, if you're going to use them single phase, then you have to derate them because you're not using all three dot or all uh, three inputs, let's just say. So with three, the uh, three phase bridge rectifier, you're gonna have six diodes in it like that, right? So basically all I'm doing is I'm using one of those, but just paralleling them all up, right? 
So this is how it would you know, internally be. And um, so you, as you can see, if you basically just tie all the inputs together, then you're paralleling up the center of each series. So then of course you end up with this right here, which is basically just you treat it as two beefy diodes in series to form a doubler configuration. So that's just how the bridge ends up, right? So just using the full bridge uh, rectifier module like that, tying all three inputs together, and then um, hooking it up where I've got the input power. You know, I've got the neutral coming in between the two DC caps, and then the line in between the uh, diodes. So of course, if it's you know if it's like a just a single phase full bridge module, then it's just going to look like that, and it's the same thing, right? Yeah, I can hear it like hissing now. So yeah, I really don't want to bring it up too much because uh, the thing's spiking pretty bad and uh, <laughs> yeah, the transformer's not really made for that. That thing's hissing pretty bad. <laughs> 